And it's interesting too, Dan, I, I, this is going to be a question that I continue to ask throughout our partnership. When I hear athletes talk this way, why is it that as individuals and that all of us, not just athletes, but I'm using this as a jumping off point. Why are we so programmed to prove people wrong instead of proving people right? We're so programmed to, to seek out the people who hate you it, it's, and prove them wrong versus the people that are behind you being like, hell yeah, we're down. Like, like we're here for you and proving those folks right. In no small part, that's Jordan's legacy. Really is. That, that was the like that that his pathology, and it's a pathology. It's not normal. And it's not even necessarily good. But that that fire to prove people wrong, to, to have everything be a grudge, to, to be motivated by to, to seek grudges, to to inflate things, to to fan the flames of things that aren't even that big a deal. A lot of that is Jordan's legacy. But even in everyday life, like I, I'm trying to be better about that too, where there's so many people that will support you in whatever it is that you're doing that you sometimes lose sight of that positive influence that's pushing you. It's like, yeah, you can you can do all this stuff that I you want to do. I want to make someone proud. Right. I want to. He, and look, it, it isn't Demar's family at every home game? Yeah. His wife I, and his girls in I coordinated outfits, and they're always right there. They're right here. They're right here. These make, people. Make them proud and happy. And they are their brand. They're, they're, everyone knows if they're going to be walking out of the arena happy or sad when they go down a little family area back there. Like I don't I don't think you need to to come up with somebody you need to rub their face in it or, or prove them wrong or bulletin board material. Make them smile. 